What's up, fight fans? I'm Jake Otto, and welcome to the Boxing and Jedi's Tavern. And today I have a good friend of mine, very good friend of mine, my man from the Boxing Enthusiast. Actually, he owns the page on Facebook. Go check him out, man. That's a hot boxing forum. My man, Dwayne Mooney. What's going on, brother? Just chilling, man. We getting ready to talk some boxing. And of course, fight fans, you know, if you guys want to find Dwayne, you can go check him out on Facebook and look for the Boxing Enthusiast, man. Hot page and it's real boxing talk in there, man. And today we're going to talk about Thurman calling Pacquiao out and we're actually going to give him a report card and exactly how we feel, you know, as boxing fans on, on whether if he's ready or not. You with that, Dwayne? Yeah, let's do it. All right, brother. So let us know first how you feel, man. How do you feel? Let me let me let me do it properly. Let me ask you a question, brother. Do you think that Thurman has what it takes for a Pacquiao? You said Thurman? Yeah. Uh, after this last fight I saw him in, um, he needs some more tune-ups. He, he doesn't need any big fights right now. I, I think um, him getting hurt by Lopez and Pacquiao is going to be a hanging on for dear life. It didn't really look that good, but no, he needs some he needs some more tune-ups. Right. Definitely. Right, right. All right. And how do you feel? Because because me personally, I feel the same way. Like, I'm saying to myself, if Josecito Lopez got to him, you know what I mean? Just imagine what what, you know, exactly what, what Pacquiao would do, especially with his foot with his in and out footwork. And um also also I also noticed in Thurman that uh, you know, his jab got a bit better, but he wasn't working off it as much as he used to. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Um, a lot of wasted movement as well. I think that's uh, the biggest thing I take from the fight. You know, he uses his legs way too much. And, um, you know, it's a lot of wasted movement. You know, his power looks good, though. I, I thought, um, you know, he was able to hurt Lopez, you know. Uh, but I think you've got to work on some things. I think you've got to definitely work on work on some things. Right, and, right. you know, that's why he needs tune-ups. Um before calling out anybody, any of the elite guys in, in the welterweight division. I feel you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so, so you know, I, me, me personally, man, I, I just think, I, I'm just thinking like this, man. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe two, three fights, maybe, you know, and, and they, you know, they would, but, but either way, man, see, my whole thing here is Pacquiao it's way too elite for these guys. And, you know, everybody's, you know, banking on the athleticism and the youth. And Pacquiao is, is already proving that these guys need more than that. They need skill. What do you think? I don't know. I, I still got questions about Pacquiao. I, I liked what I saw from him against Broner. You know, a lot of people had, you know, bad things to say about Pacquiao's performance. I think at 40. Right. You know, but what he did against a guy who's not the most hittable guy, who has above average defense, he did what he had to do. Picked his shots. You know, was patient. You know, I, I thought uh, he was good. I thought he was just as aggressive as he needed to be. Right. You know, um, he didn't get caught with silly punches. Broner really wasn't throwing anything, but he, he fought the right fight. I, I was very, very impressed. Even more so than when he fought with Tisa. Yeah, yeah. Very, very much. And, and one thing that I always try to, you know, point out to people is that... Uh, you know, when, when Pacquiao fights you, he, he basically fights you at, at your style. He picks up the pace, he controls it, but if you fight him sloppy, he's, he's going he's gonna to still come at you and he's going to land sloppy, regardless he's still landing. If you give him a nice, neat, straight-up fight, you know, um, he, you know it's, it's going to be a strategic fight, and he's going to win either way. So, I mean, I, I understand and, and, I, and I partially agree with what you're saying, but his skill right now... Because remember, Dwayne, we had talked about this about the about all these fighters being amateur pedigree in a professional, you know what I'm saying, sport in this era, right? So you figure Manny Pacquiao has been through eight divisions. Do you guys do you really think that these guys actually have the game for him? My 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 real question with Pacquiao is what happens when he gets hit by these guys? You right. know, um, when he was getting hit by Jeff Horn, even though a lot a lot of people thought that um he beat Jeff Horn, Jeff Horn was hitting him a lot. And uh, even though Manny's old now and they up there, um I don't know. I don't know if he can take shots like Lopez took last night on the chin. I, I don't know if he can take shots 
shots to the body from a guy like Spence. I mean, his movement is still there. He appears to still have some pop, but I don't know if he gets hit. Now, can he outbox these guys? Yeah. I mean, I think he can outbox the majority of the guys. Um, I think the most dangerous guys that walked away from him would be maybe a Sean Porter who's style, you know, rough and rugged welterweight um, who moves around a lot and, and is very rugged inside. It would be tough for Pacquiao, I think. And um, I think Spence, I think he can outbox Spence, but I don't know if he can take Spence's punches to the body. Right. I think he could. I think he has the, foot, the footwork and, and, and the hand speed. Right. But would he be able to keep a guy like Spence off? Right. So, I mean, and Thurman, I think it's kind of a toss-up. Um... I would probably at this point have to favor Pacquiao over Thurman. Mm. Uh, I got to say more from Thurman. As for Bud, uh, I, I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a chess match there too. Right. Um, I, I don't know. That that's a that's a that's a tough. One. Right, right. Because I think I think I, I think if if uh, Thurman was fighting Pacquiao, I think that uh, I don't know. I I think this would be something where. Where and I'm not using the triangle theory, but I, I I I the first thing I look at in a match like that would be skill, especially with a guy like Pacquiao that still has the goods. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right. you know, if if we take this Pacquiao, if we could take this Pacquiao and put him in his era, like of course he lost a lot. Of course he lost right. a lot, right? But now when you're putting him in this era, he's like the vet, and he is because a lot of people don't want to admit this, but we have to admit him. Pacquiao is the man at 147. He's the one that you want to get your name off. You know what I'm saying? You want baptism under fire. You want attrition, all that bullshit. But I just, you know, and, and I, I just feel that Pacquiao's skill is just, is just going to reign supreme. Like, reign really supreme with these guys. Simply because here's the, here's, here's the true theory, right? Here's, really, here's the truth. You, might, you may agree with me on this. Maybe, maybe not. But, um... I just feel like this. Pacquiao has seen all of these guys' fight models going in his career from eight divisions, right? As to these guys right. have never seen a Manny Pacquiao. Do you agree or not? No, man. No, no, They absolutely haven't. And honestly, I'll say this too. Even if Manny loses to any of these guys and they ever do fight, I don't think anybody blows Manny out of the water like many of these fans are just on these boxing pages. I don't think, I think Manny will always hold his own against these guys, even with his age. And it goes a lot to show what he, he is and how great he really is. Right, you right. You know, in my opinion. Right, right. Exactly, man. And uh, also, like, like when it, comes, when it comes to training camps, I think that, well, not think, I know that this is going to be possibly the hardest training camp for Thurman if he was to take this fight. You know what I mean? Um, I think that he would have to learn a lot of things at his age. I mean, even though he's still young, he's about 29, right? Even though he's still young, he still has the capacity to, to learn things. I mean, you know, Keith Thurman pays attention and he listens to his corner. That's one thing that's good about him. So he can learn new things. But what can he actually learn against a vet that knows a lot? Well, right now, from the looks of things... Um the Thurman that fought Lopez would definitely lose to Pacquiao unless he, he nailed him with something big and knocked Pacquiao out, which he can do. But the thing is, like I said, it goes back to the wasted movement and his stamina issues. Um, late in the fight, you you know, Manny's going to have stamina. Manny doesn't really get tired. He can bounce all night. So he'll punch his all night. So right, right, right. The, the thing is, um, if you get tired, he's just going to overwhelm you. That's what Pacquiao does. That's his game. Yes, you know, sir. he will overwhelm you and he will keep going and he'll possibly stop Thurman, you know. So Thurman has to do something about the stamina issue. And um, I've always said about Thurman, too, he doesn't really, like, define his style. You know, he's a puncher. He's, he's supposed to be like a boxer puncher, but it's like he, he just, you know, jab and, and, and he'll just be intense to outbox somebody. But then he talks about, well, I can knock anybody out and I'm one time, but... You got to find your style eventually, you know. Um, I think that's why he has a lot of problems fighting guys down, too. He doesn't know what he wants to do. Right. Whether he wants to box too much, whether he wants to punch and get him out of there. So he's got he's to gotta do a few things, but um, we'll see what happens, and we'll see what his next fight is, who he's going to fight. 
Right, right, exactly, exactly. Because um, because I, I, you know, I, I was saying to myself the other day, you know, um, as soon as he called him out, and I knew he was gonna do that, I said to myself, well, you know, Thurman himself is small too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he, you know, he's small too. Even though Manny would be the smaller man, or always would be the smaller guy, but he's smaller too. So, you know, um, the the, the quickness, his speed would give Manny Pacquiao problems. His hand speed would give him problems. Yes, I can see that. But at the same time. What you know what I'm saying? Like, like what more can he do besides because like you know, it's shown to keep throwing that when you put pressure on him and you put a jab on him, he he sort of gets lost in there. You know? That's true. Yeah. He sort of gets lost in there. Yeah, yeah. Like when you show him when you show him skill and you show him a, a certain level of of you know what I'm saying, I'm hitting back, you know, I'm making you I'm making you think and not throw. You know what I mean? You know, that and, and that's something that Jose Cito Lopez was doing, but he did it too late. Had he did it earlier, it would have been better. And that jab, I keep telling people, jabs always keeps your opponent on his fucking toes. It keeps him thinking. And you have to keep him thinking from throwing. Thurman has, I would say, a, a good chin, but he's been hurt several times in the pro to the body. Right. This is why many fans pick Spence to beat him. Um, you know, he hasn't really done anything to show people that he um, can avoid body shots like that. Right. You know, and when you pressure him, you will land eventually. And um, it seems like he, he kind of panics when he gets pressure on him, you know? He doesn't really deal with it how you would expect him to. Right. You know, and that's, that's a problem. That's why um, I don't think he should fight Sean Porter. Again, I would love to see it, and I think Porter deserves it. Uh, but Thurman, I don't know if he, he'd win a second fight with uh, Porter. That's a, that's, that, that's a good theory right there. I mean... If if Thurman was to take a second fight with Porter, I think I think he'd be a little. I mean, if he takes it like like right now, like second fight right now on the comeback, I think he'd be very vulnerable as to what you're saying with the body shots. I think that you know because he was hurt, he was hurt when when Porter hit him to the body. So I think that uh, you know, I, I think that Porter would would come up with a much smarter smarter game plan. You know what I mean? A way smarter game plan. Yeah, and um, Porter's a guy who. You know, not only is he going to pressure you, crowd you, but he's also going to roll in there and he's going to wrestle with you and um, make it a very ugly, ugly fight. He's getting a little bit better technique-wise, but um, that's his thing, maul you and, uh, you know, Thurman was moving a lot and stuff like that. But I think Thurman should maybe look to, maybe learn to fight a little bit better on the inside to conserve his legs and the moving. He moves a lot. It kind of reminds me of, like, Kodo. Right. You know, um, after like the Margarito fight, when he um, he just started to become really well, maybe a little bit before that too, but he started really using his legs, like everything to outbox you. He stopped going to the body as much and would just jab you and outbox you. You know, and um, with him too, it was a lot of wasted leg movement, and um, he would get tired and stuff like that. But you know, I'm not saying you can't move and stuff, but make sure it's efficient movement. Right. Right. You know, not just to do it, just to do it. You know, and um, I don't know. That's one of the questions about Thurman. Yeah, man. Definitely. Definitely. And, like, now let's go on to Manny Pacquiao. I, I, feel, I feel that Manny Pacquiao and a Sean Porter would be a good fight because I feel that Sean Porter has... I mean, Sean Porter's way, way more of a cleaner fucking puncher than fucking Jeff Horn. And I think that that would be an ideal fight. But I still see uh, Sean Porter getting outboxed. Ah, it, that's a tough one too. Styles. I mean, I don't know if Manny could. Uh, he didn't really do all that great with Jeff Horn. Well, Jeff Horn's adorable though. Jeff Horn's adorable. So I'm, I'm not gonna take that from Manny. And then despite his age and stuff, he was landing, you know, on Horn at will and stuff like that. But dealing with somebody with like a Ricky Hat and a Sean Porter type style where they wrestle you, they maul you, it's not easy to adjust to that. I mean, and uh, even if you're a elite fighter, if you don't know how to deal with somebody with these tactics, they can make you look bad. And um, I just don't know. I always go back to this with Pacquiao. His age, I don't know if he can deal with a, a fight like that at this point. Right. I mean, I think Pacquiao, you know, for boxing and, and, and outpointing people, 
he's still good, but I, I don't know if he can take really hard fights at this point. Where, you know, just 12 rounds of just, you know, being beat on and, and, and dishing it and giving it. I don't know if he can do that. The last two fights, he hasn't had to do that. That's why I say if he gets hit, will his chin hold up? How will he deal with being hurt? I mean, he's shown throughout his career he doesn't really get hurt all that much. Or when he does, he rebounds. But um, I don't know. Age and fall the time, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how he that. So we have to see that. I mean, I, I could be wrong. He maybe, um, you know, he'll bounce right back to it. But um, Smith would be the, the, the most obvious problem, I think, with the body punching. I, um, that's his thing. So we'll really see how Pacquiao will be able to deal with that. Uh, if they fight, which I doubt we'll see. I mean, El Smith doesn't seem like he wants certain guys in the division, but he's the boogeyman to everybody, so I, I don't know. Right, right. <laughs> I hear that. No, definitely, man. Good assessment. I just, like I said, I, I feel I feel that, uh, you know, that, that, like I said before, you know, Manny Pacquiao has seen these fight styles, you know, and these guys haven't seen a Manny Pacquiao's fight style, as well as Sean Porter having someone moving in and out and then getting hit in angles. And remember, Sean Porter misses a lot. And there are, I mean, Keith Thurman was possibly the only one that made him pay when he missed. Manny Pacquiao is one of those guys that if you miss, it's 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 bad, you know. And so so this is what I'm saying. Like the inexperience and uh, not fighting each other and not taking on contenders and just taking on money fights, you know, and, and, and not working your way up. I think that these are the tools that they're missing and the accessories that they're missing in their toolkit in order to fucking fix shit. And I'm talking about the younger generation going up against Manny Pacquiao. This is why I see old age or not, Manny Pacquiao, is more. he's shown that he's mostly mental. His whole boxing style is mental. So, I, I you know, his whole game, is, it's, it's just ill. And, and none of these guys have seen that. You know what I mean? So that's what... Let me ask you a quick question. Man. Yeah. Not, not to cut you off, just real quick. Yeah. Now, when we talk about Pacquiao, we talk about him fighting some of the other um, welterweights. Right. Now, when you look at it, but... Right. You think that Bud, how do you think his counter punching and his boxing IQ compares with that of Marquez, who gave Pacquiao fists in there for fights? Well, and uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. That, that's cool. No, because, because I, all right, well, uh, you were saying Marquez, right? Yeah, Marquez, right. Yeah, well, I mean, M Marquez, is, um, you know, at, at the time that he was fighting Pacquiao, Marquez was. Base, I mean, Pacquiao was basically, you know, at his prime. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was primed out. Now, what? now him fighting the Bud Crawford at this age, the thing, I see Bud Crawford, the only thing that, that, that would give Bud Crawford the upper hand, it's not even youth, it's not even speed, it's, not even, it's, the, it's him being ambidextrous, him being able to hit Manny with both hands with, with, with the same power. You know what I'm saying? That right there, you know, you know that that right there is very dangerous for Manny. That's very tricky right there, cause he can he can hit you with the same power that he's hitting you with, with you know you know with the with, with the with the power hand. Let's just say his right, right. If he was standing orthodox, the power he, he can hit you with the same power off the jab. You see shit like that, like that that right there. That's dangerous. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's very it's very true. Um. You know, if we go back to Pacquiao and, and Marquez won, when um, Marquez didn't even look like he was going to make it to the fourth round. Right. And he could barely get out of the first round, all the knockdowns and stuff, and he made a comeback and stuff like that. Now, Manny has problems with counter punches naturally, but offensive counter punches, you know what I'm saying, like a Crawford, I think, could be a real problem. But yeah. I think Crawford might have some problems with Manny's movement and hand speed. And um, Manning has an IQ, too. You know, a lot of people don't bring that up. You know, they just think that um, he's nothing but hand speed and, and, you know, foot speed and overwhelming you. But, no, Manning can actually think in it. He's, um, he's a very smart fighter. Yeah. He's very smart. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, man. Shit, yeah. Fuck yeah. You know? And I, I just, I just, you know, I just hope that if this fight does happen, you know, uh, it, you know, it, it, it would be, it would, I mean... We couldn't really call it a unification because we because uh, Manny got what the WBA uh, silver and and he has the WBA uh, major there, Thurman. So you know it it would just be a it would just be a, a star-studded money fight, you know, and it'll be for clout, I guess, you know. But 
it is what it is, man. You know, but we both agree that Thurman is not ready right now for a Pacquiao. No, he absolutely isn't. And he's calling out Canelo, I heard. Yeah. And Canelo and are not even entertaining it. Yeah. And he would get, he'd get knocked out by Canelo. There's no doubt. I, I don't know what Thurman's thinking. I mean, maybe he's trying to start a buzz back when he first started. He, you know, one time and he was hungry and I want to knock everybody out. And he believed in himself. And, you know, as he started to really win and, and climb the division, it's like his hunger, like, went away. Right. Um, Right. See, you got talking about knockouts and stuff and all of that stuff. And I mean, he's got, you know, he's a family man. And, and I think what he got married when he was injured and he, he, he did a few things like business wise, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. you know, his mindset may have changed, you know. Um, he may not, he may not want uh, to be there for like, like legacy purposes and stuff like that, you know. Right, right. It may be a situation where um, he takes what he can get. Right, and I, I just, I just feel that the only, the only move for Manny Pacquiao to do right now is just to unify. That's the only thing he has not done. If he does it, he would, he would have surpassed mostly everybody in boxing. He, he, his shit will be very hard to catch up with. I don't, I don't see at any point in the near future where we're going to see anybody conquer eight divisions and and fucking uh what what be what a uh, fucking sixteen time, fifteen time fucking champion now. Like nah, we're not gonna see that shit. That would be unbelievable. Uh, there are people that believe that he could still do it. Now that, you know, the thing with Floyd and, and a rematch, I kind of wanted to see that. But now Floyd is playing these games again. And this is kind of why people, you know, they're turned off of Floyd. Like, stop with the BS, man. Like, you said you were going to fight the winner of Broner and, and, and Pacquiao. Now it's all of a sudden, you know, you're retired and enjoying retirement. My thing is, look... <laughs> Don't keep telling boxing fans one thing and then doing something else. Right. I mean, if you want to sit and get easy paydays and stuff like that, fine. Much power to you. But this is not right what he's doing to boxing fans. So that's all I got to say about Floyd because that was the big thing. And that was a lot of Manny's incentive to the fight boner. Or maybe he didn't even need to take a boner fight if he, if he knew he wasn't going to get a rematch anyway. And why was Floyd even there, you know, in the first place? Right. Like, but... You know, Floyd plays these games, but Manny, um, now he can really uh, keep his attention on unifying. And um, I, I don't know, who do you think Pacquiao fights next? I, I, I see I see Pacquiao fighting the winner of uh, Garcia uh, uh, Spence Jr. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's what I see. Because if Mayweather didn't come to the forefront after they promised Manny Pacquiao a Mayweather fight and now Mayweather don't want to fight, then, you know, what else is there for him to do but to fight the winner of whoever fucking either still has a strap or just won that strap in order for him to unify, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You know, that's about it, man. <laughs> Word up, man. All right, man. Well, I'm going to cut it short because I got to get ready for some late night boxing talk. But yo, Dwayne, man, give everybody your 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 addresses and stuff, and how they can get in touch with you, man. The boxing enthusiast on Facebook, and soon an Instagram will be coming. I'll be making an Instagram soon. The boxing enthusiast, definitely. If you're a boxing fan, you know, check the page out. Let me know how you feel about it. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Definitely, man. That's my man, Dwayne Mooney from the Boxing Enthusiast. Otherwise than that, I'm Jay Cotter, your boy, telling the truth within the sport of boxing. I'll see y'all tonight on Late Night Boxing Talk, and we're going to have a little debate with uh, Shady Slim, and I'm going to be representing uh, Terrence Crawford, and he's going to be representing Amir Khan. Otherwise than that, God bless, Wait, stay Jay, vigilant. Jay, 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 yeah. real quick, you're going to be on what, YouTube or Facebook? YouTube? YouTube, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Otherwise than All that, right, God bless, stay vigilant, peace, fight fans. <laughs>